<laughs> what? Lay off the sugar, man. A good sleep. Hi, mate. Morning. Oh, what for best? Ooh, hello. Musty stocking. Cool. I got some stuff. I got money, 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 money. Oh, there's my tangerine. Asham. Eggnog. Way past use by date. Well. Bugger, how long have I been asleep? Welcome. Oh my, wow. You've been out here the whole time, Gary. I'm uh, sorry, mate. You alright? You've been keeping yourself well fed? Uh, yeah, he's a good lad. What do you want to do? I feel nice and refreshed after that super long... Oh, I've got some eggnog, by the way. Um, not sure I want to use it yet, but yeah, we've got eggnog. I think Caius gave it to us. Should we go see if, let's go see what Caius wants, if he wants to do something, if he wants us to do something rather. Where are you? There you are. Have you got a job for With us? With pleasure. Please, go ahead. I'm all ears. You're all glow at the moment. Hmm. I broke my mods a little bit, so everything's gone a bit funky. Excuse me. Uh, do I already have a job on with you, or...? No, I do not. Okay. We need an Ashlander informant. I have heard of a fellow in Aldrun named Hasur Zanzubani. An Ashlander who left the Waste to become a wealthy trader. Yeah, like it's that easy. They say the Ashlanders like to give and receive presents. Take these hundred drakes, find out what Zanzubani likes, and get him a gift. Then give him the gift and see if he'll tell you about the Ashlanders and the Nerevirin cult. Then report back to me. Wait, what? So I'm just... Go out room and give a guy a book. And bribe him, basically. Sent me to see a fellow named Hasur, an Ashlander who left the way some of it. Yep. Where is he? Aldrune. We've not got any more information than that. It's just Aldrune. Oh, great. Um, okay. Thank you for the stocking! Another forgot to say, oh, that was impolite, wasn't it? Right, Gary, he's asked us to go see some bloke up in our old room, and I don't know about you, but I can't be bothered walking it. So should we just get a silk strider? Because we might end up walking around our room for ages, because he didn't even tell us where he was. So... It's a bit poo. I've got money, haven't I? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've just got a hundred gold Christmas bonus. I've definitely brought my log logs? Mods. This is lagging quite a lot more. Bummer. Right, um, you shall take me, please, sir, to Aldrun. 79 gold. Yeah, that's like most of my Christmas bonus. I know it's not Christmas anymore, but I did technically only just get that. Right, okay. Why are you with me this time, Gary? I usually run away here. Hmm. <laughs> What's he called? Hasur Zanzubani. Has he got a house? What do you know? Oh, I should put my map back on. You just said he's a trader. General merch. Hmm. Okay, my guess then.
We're going to check out the pubs. Not you, Gary. I'm not going in a pub with you again. Drank me under the bloody table. Either. Right. Okay, we're looking for Gary. Oh, he's an Ashlander, so I'm assuming he's dumber. So. Um, excuse me. I'm looking for a man. Have you seen a man? I'm looking for a man. I don't know if you're a woman. Sorry. You have something to say to me? No. The man? Any any yes. men down here? I'm looking for a man. Have you seen a man? I mean, no offense. Like, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but. This. Sorry. Okay, let's try upstairs. Uh, we're looking for a man, woman, cat, man. Not, not wanted, man. Ginge. Oh, dude. Nope. Do you guys know? Oh, you're not a good guy. Do you guys actually know anyone who you're a thieves guild operative? Good to know. You, hello. Um, people, people. Someone in particular. Lots and lots of names I cannot pronounce. Brava Moravian Laran Ramarana Thrissarathi Garisalathi Mina Araba. Oh, I can pronounce that one. Bolvin Venim. Um, Perseus Mercius Edwina. Oh, I like Edwina. Uh, nope, this guy isn't important, so I don't have any tips on where to find him. You what? I'm deproaching. Why do you say that when you're leaving? All right, um, we might have a little bit of trouble here, Gary. Yeah. Right, was Let's go to the pub. Not you. Oh, boy. Oh. You look like an Ashlander. I don't suppose you. Nope. Nobody's heard of this guy. So much for being a rich bloody trader. Old Scarring. Okay. Um. Excuse me. I'm looking for a guy. The guy. Have you? Are you the guy or not the guy? You're definitely not the guy. Uh, I'm looking for the. You look like a guy. You look like an Ashlander guy. As sure as I, you're the guy! Hello, hello. Um, <clears throat> just make sure I'm all looking nice and smart and everything. Right, okay. Hello. I am as sure as I know. Bani Jafin. I cannot pronounce my own name. May you bless and be blessed. I do not wish to be rude, but if you have business, speak it, for I am of leisure, and would prefer to be a, prefer prefer to be alone with my thoughts. Hmm. Um. Business. I see you wish to learn of Ashlanders from me, and what is it that you wish to learn? Oh, I'm supposed to give them a gift first. What, what are they gift giving customs, please? A curious question. A gift is a sign of courtesy. I don't know why I'm speaking with that accent. It's from the bloody wastelands. Among strangers, an affection. Amongst friends, among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign. Uh, you sound more like Farmer Joe. That you cautious and considerate and aware of the other's wants and needs. Do you tame goars? I'm just going to speak properly. I'm totally just ripping you to pieces there. Sorry, mate. Uh, the others want to need such is particularly useful for traders and travellers. Amongst friends, it is a private thing and subtle with great risks. And for the test of the gift is how well it is tailored to the receiver. So I assume they mean more like um, handmade stuff. What courtesy, thoughtful gift. Among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign that you are cautious and considerate. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. A gift that shows you have taken the care to learn something of the receiver. For example, I love poetry. 
Bingo! Thank you. No stranger could be expected to know this, but a book of poetry given to me by a stranger shows the giver respects me and has made a special effort to know and please me. But now, I have answered your question and would like some time to myself, if you will excuse me. Yeah, oh, I know, you want a book, what book? Fortunately, or perhaps by courtesy or design, who saw Zen... It was mentioned that it was... Oh, a book of poetry! Not just a book, a book of poetry. Book of poetry. Uh, wait, what else did it say? Bookseller, merchant or pawn shop. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. There are booksellers nearby, aren't there? Where are they? Uh, right there. Okay, that's handy. Hello, you still with us? Broker. Let's go to the bookshop first. I'm guessing it's more likely to be there. Um, brief history of the Empire, Brothers of Darkness, Ancestors and the Dumber, Five Songs of King Wolfhearth. That doesn't look like poetry. Oh wait, Words of the Wind? Volume of verse collected from Ashlander Wise Women. I shrink to dust. May my tongue speak its last hymn to your wind, I pray for the herder. Hmm. I've got better things to do, so... <laughs> Let's root song. Mind, Can I give him that? Long. Uh, the tale of the devious trader. Oh, Ashland hymns. No, that's not really poetry, though, is it? Words of the clan mother. Why is there lots of Ashlander stuff here? I don't know what I'm. Sorry on his sermons. I'm assuming you won't want that. Doors of the spirits. Um. I've neglected to do something really simple and speak to you about it. History Lord is it? Ah. Because you cannot. Would not surprise me. If mods have switched this about, you know, I don't want to give the answer. I think the answer is the Yellow Book of Riddles. And yet I remember it being there. It doesn't surprise me if they switched it around to one of those weird ones. Like that. Five songs of the... What, what does that say? Five songs of King... Oh, it is Wolfhearth. Right. Looked more complicated than it is. Pilgrim's Path... You got a lot of nice clothes. Right, you speak to me. Or would you perhaps be interested in doing a little work for me? You need work? Hmm, what have you got? Common Starburst Amulet. Cool. What work exactly are we talking in? I'm looking for a fellow named... Is that an I or an L? Lenus Sarandus. I sold him two fine matched rings, one with a raw ebony stone and the other with a raw glass stone. But he's failed to pay the remaining 150 drakes owed. If you will find Sarandus and either get the ebony ring and the glass ring and return them to me, or get the overdue payment of 150 drakes he owes me, I will pay you 50 gold. Alright, do you know who he is or where he is? 
Uh, the young fellow's family has lived in Aldroon a long time. His parents died recently and left him their house and estate. But Lennis has fallen in with a fast crowd. Ah. I believe he's taken to drinking expensive liqueur and has incurred some gambling debts. He's a charming lad, everyone likes him, but he's not very sensible and suddenly becoming rich seems to have made him an, ir an irresponsible fool. Ah, I see. Money makes everyone a little bit mad. Okay, so I've got to find... Wait, what... Lower it's something he was called, wasn't it? Right, let's have a quick... What's over this side? Smith, Cuthia, General Merch. What do you sell? You're a smith, never mind. No, that's the cloth there, that's the merch. Numpty. Tirasadus. I uh what have you got? Oh lots of stuff and none of what I want. Okay, never mind. Actually, kinda want that scuttle. Hmm. How much are you gonna skimp me for these, eh? Piece, hey, that's not too bad. Give us, come on. Yeah, you're a star, mate. <sighs> Let's go quick. <laughs> you just wanted red. All right, okay. General March. That guy called Ilmarin. Oh wait, him. There, we there we're going. That's where we want to go. Still haven't found a book. I might be able to speak to him again, actually. And um, he just said he wanted a bit of a break, so. Spirit, Changed Ones, Children of the Sky, Cantons of Vivek. Ooh. We got a lot of beer here. So, um... Yes? You'll hear about the overdue payments? You bet I am. Yes, I do have some overdue payments with local merchants, but I'm afraid I can't pay my debts right now. You see, I'm a little strapped for cash at the moment. But I have a certain very attractive prospects underway and I'm sure I'll be able to pay very soon. Hmm. I don't trust you. I think I found my will in subject to practice speechcraft. <laughs> Alright, can I just repeat this and then threaten him? Alright, I'll see if I can intimidate this way. Which I probably won't, but I'll be getting those uh, my speechcraft skill up for it at least. Right. Nothing I would tell you. Get lost. Alright, I'll just give you like... Yeah. Oh, no, no. He's he's really miffed with me now. Uh-oh. Just 
you are pathetic. Come on, come on, give me something to work with here. No, he's not kicking off. Oh, uh, have I just... Where are the rings? <laughs> ah, I don't do this yet because he's going to find me in there. You, 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 you. What can I do? Feather, personality. Right, just threaten him. You clearly do not appreciate the finer points of honour, Outlander. No self-respecting dumber would allow himself to be influenced by crude threats. I told you I have not the cash now, but I expect to have it soon. These are the words of a gentleman. I will not have my honour questioned by a rude Outlander. So I can't actually... Okay... Can you not just give me the rings then? Tried to threaten him with violence, but he dismissed my threats and repeated that he did not have the cash, but he expected to have it soon. When is soon exactly? Trade? I'm afraid I have no trade. I shall have to think what to do. I thought you were... So, maybe not. Right, we'll sod you for a li just a little bit, mate. I'm going back here. I'm going to find. Um, should we go back into the. That was Altscarium, wasn't it? There we go. Let's go see this guy again, see what he says. If he'll give me any more. Was he downstairs? No, he was upstairs and then downstairs, wasn't he? How do you fit such a big area into such a tiny little shell? It's bigger on the inside. <laughs> uh, you, hello. Sorry. Uh, courtesy. Ashlanders may challenge. Oh. Challenge a stranger who enters a yurt without invitation. Oh. Customs differ with different tribes, but leave them when requested and you may be forgiven. Be particularly careful about Ashkans, tribal chiefs and wise women. Tribal seers and counsellors, some are welcoming, some are hostile. Be courteous and leave if requested. If offended, they may attack. So... Wait, what? No. I understand you wish to give me a suitable gift, but you do not know me well enough to choose such a gift, or you cannot find or afford a gift you know to be suitable for me. Well, let us take your earnest thought and effort as a token of your gift. Really? You have behaved courteously, and I am inclined to help you. Oh, you're such a nice bloke! I love people like you. It's just like, yeah, you just, you just be nice. It's like they still tried, you know. They did just go to every bloody shop in here, almost. Anyway, what would you wish to know about the Ashlanders and the Riverine cult? I don't know. Everything! There is too much to tell. Well, here, take these notes. I've written here what you should know about the Ashlanders and the Nerevarine cult, but most of all, if you are visiting a camp, there are things you should know about courtesy and challenges among the Ashlanders and since you ask about the Nerevarine cult perhaps you'll be interested in my views on the Ashlanders and foreigners because a guiding passion of the Nerevarine cult is their hatred of foreigners ah 
Okay, let's have let's check out that challenges. I did take in what you said about being leaving the yurts and whatnot. Uh, when challenged for sport, it is acceptable to decline. All right, when challenged for honor, it is shameful to decline. Ah. Honor challenges come from offense given in speech or action or may represent customary formal challenges or status or ritual. Okay. Right, uh, Ashlanders and foreigners. Uh, Nerevarine cult first. Let's get the notes down on that. They worship the great Ashkan and Hortator. Ashkan and Hortator. I don't know why I said that like that. What's going on today? Nerevar, Moon and Star, who in ages past destroyed the evil, godless dwarves and banished the treacherous Dagothur and his foul host beneath Red Mountain. The cult is a is of small consequence in Ashlander worship and only among the Urshilaku does do its followers have any influence. Other Ashlander tribes share the sentiments of the cult but regard the Nerevarine prophecies with suspicion and scepticism. Hmm. I need to increase this font size. I'm having real trouble reading it. Right, okay, so... I am the reincarnation of Nerevars. Okay, seems to think so anyway. Uh, what haven't we clicked here? Ashlanders and foreigners. Most Ashlanders wish all foreigners and their false gods could be driven from Morrowind. Oh, bloody Daleks. At the very least, Ashlanders wish the foreign devils would leave them in peace. Ashlanders think it's shameful to attack unarmed persons, but they would kill without hesitation an armed person who offends them or their clan laws good to know. No Ashlander is fool enough to make war against the Empower, Empower, Empire, however, if such a war might be won, many Ashlanders might cheerfully give their lives to win such a war. Wow. Okay, cut it. Ashlanders and followers, no ring prophecies. Have we already clicked that? No. I've heard it said that the prophecies foretell the return of a reincarnated Nerevar, who shall drive the foreigners from the Ashlands and who shall cast down the false gods and the temple and restore the true worth worship of the ancestors. It is a dream that would appeal to every Ashlander, but it is thought a silly ancient legend and little more by many Ashlanders, myself in included. Well, you just pooed on my dreams there. Where is our Shalaku? Close to the Sea of Ghosts. Okay, well, I'll get back to that afterwards. I think, have you just said everything? Oh, Ashlander worship. All Ashlanders in a tribe, young and small, are born into the ancestor cult of their clan. The Nerevarine cult is different, though. It is a very small cult with only a few wise women with the gifts of prophecy and a few holy warrior heroes who guard and protect the seers. Sul Matul, Ashkan of the Urshalaku, is the warrior protector of the cult, and Nibani Mesa? 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 Also of the Urshalaku is the oracle seer of the cult. Wow! Can you not jot down some notes for me? I've got to take all this information back to Caius. So I'm going to forget half of it before I get there. So nice about that gift. Uh, we've done. You're an you're an absolute star, mate. Okay. So who was? Was that pawnbroker who I? Yes, it was. So I've got the notes from him. Nipping to Zippon Broka is over here, I think. There we go.
Uh, I might have a little work for you. I'm looking for a fellow named... Yeah, I already... Oh, okay. Where was his house? That one. Hey, Gary. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Gary, why did you have to do that? It's a pain in the ass sometimes. Right, here we are. So, has this guy got the bloody money yet? do something that I hope doesn't get me into trouble now. Go away. These rings, they've either got to be in a chest or he's going to be bloody carrying them, isn't he? back on me. You're a pain in the ass, mate. Why do you... glass ring there. Why is it getting less and less every time I open it? I served, didn't I? Let's just have a look. He's only got a glass ring on him. Okay, what else is in here? So, was it an ebony ring? A glass ring and an ebony ring? Oh, I'm so robbing all of this, mate. In fact, where are you? You're, you're miles away, yoink. I'm having this. What was this take-all key? It was F, wasn't it? Why not? You're just going to drink it all the way anyway. Right, no, I am completely... Not up there. So he's only got the glass permanent. How much gold do you have? It's not the gold. Oh, 
I'll come back for you. You better be telling the truth about getting that money. If you don't win, I'm going to take the rest of it anyway. Ooh, what's this? Nah. <laughs> Robbed his place anyway. Right, off we go, Gary. Um, ooh, that's nice. How much money have we got? It's expensive to get the silt strider back. But... Here we go. We're gonna get the silt strider. We're gonna get the silt strider again. We're getting lazy. We haven't asleep for three months, so... That is really bright. I like it. Yeah, can you take us... Do we not get, like, a discount for going two ways? You know, like a return ticket? Oh, apparently we do! Balmora, 39 gold! <laughs> nicely. Oh, of course it's dark. Uh, we head back to Chaos. Call it a day, mate. Oh, I've lost Gary. Quick slots down now. Yeah, quick keys. I will, I promise, within the next few weeks I will get uh, Open Morrowind installed. And with any luck, it can handle this humongous bunch of mods a little bit better. You never sleep, do you? Wow. You got any more scuffle? I'm just the one, never mind. Bye! There's a cat on the roof. Very, very slowly moving out or what, mate? Right, got a million and one notes, so are you ready? Thanks for your report, but keep Zanzibanu's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them. Oh, so I didn't need to remember all that. Okay. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Oshalaku camp to speak with Sulmatul and Nibani Mesa. But before you go, I think it may be a good idea to learn their names. Since then I chop your head off. To tell you what's going on. Oh, what? We getting clued in now, finally, eh? The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies. That's why you were pulled out of prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me. So you could satisfy the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies and become the Nerevarine. Wait, it's that easy? <laughs> Here, this is a decoded copy of the coded pa package you gave me when you arrived. Read it la later, it should explain everything. Okay. As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counsellors say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. Do you really satisfy the prophecies? Are you really the prophesized Nerevarine? I don't know. At first I thought we were just supposed to create a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think, but I'm sure of one thing. This is not just primitive superstition and we will treat it seriously, just as his majesty commands. Going a bit black magic on us, are we? So, Zain Subani says Sulmatul and all these other weird names at Urshalaku camp are the heads of the Nerevarine cult, so I'm sending you to speak with them. Tell them your story and have them test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. As heads of the Nerevarine cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies. When you've spoken with them, report back to me. Here's 200 drakes for expenses and pick up essential supplies at Fort Moonmoth. Okay. Can you give us directions to this? It's close to the Sea of Ghosts, north of the village of Margan, on the northeast coast of Vardenfell. And the fastest, smartest way to reach Margan is to take a silt strider from Balmora to Aldrune. 
for an elder into my gun. In my gun, look for a scout named Neil will tear does up my gun outpost. She'll be able to tell you how to reach a shellacu camp. Oh, bloody hell. Can I go to bed first? Can I have a snooze? This whole Nerevarine thing's a little bit overwhelming, you know. Gary up the bloody bloody dogs. Seriously, he wants us to put some bloody camp in the back end of beyond and just cook it. Do you remember what that guy was saying before about they just challenge you and fight over almost anything? He wants us to go there and speak with us, bloody guys. <sighs> I'm going to bed. Good night, Gary. Uh.